फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अगेन थैंक यू वेरी मच महाराज साहब आपके चरण में वंदा में माय टुडे टॉक इज रिलेटेड टू वायोलेंस एंड हाउ दिस वायोलेंस एक्चुअली इज गिव्स द फ्रूट्स और वायोलेंस इज अटैच्ड विथ आवर बॉडी वायोलेंस हाउ इट राइट्स आवर फ्यूचर हाउ द वायोलेंस comes along with our rebirth time you see it, in the jainism as well as in many other philosophies it has been mentioned that whatever you do are you able to hear me is it okay yes, are you able to hear yeah, yes yes it is okay it is very clear okay <laughs> in our indian philosophies as well as in other philosophies also but in particular in our jain philosophy it has been described in greater detail that whatever we do whatever action we do whatever work we do whatever deeds we do is always encrypted it is written now the question comes what are those things which i say what we do what we do means how we do and how it is done and how it is written how it is encrypted these are the basic fundamental questions if it is written then what is that process what is that process by which it is written and it is written according to what kind of momentum energy in some kind of a intent our intention and non intention knowingly or unknowingly how we will differentiate all those things and how this process is i mean some kind of a automatic process or it is a self regulated system process the other question which is generally and frequently the youth people ask oh how do you say that this whatever we do is being written if it is written then where so the answer is that it is in fact not visible but it is written on the soul and as soon as we speak the soul the they start to lie, laugh and not only they laugh but many others people also laugh because because in contrary to many philosophies still science people they don't believe in the soul they don't have any witness evidence or any proof of the soul so they suggest there is nothing like that there is no jiva no soul no sentence while on the contrary almost all philosophies whether hindu philosophy bodh philosophy of course the jainis even the christians sikh philosophy judaism everybody believes there is on the existence of the soul so first of all the question comes that this invisible part that is this non visible soul what it is and many times in my lecture series on this i have already told also about the this soul so i will just say a few things that this important relationship because it is the only one religion that is the jainism it says that non violence our whole lecture series is on the scientific foundations of non violence it directly relates to the metaphysics of the scientificity that is of each soul so it means what i wish to say that violence or non violence both are directly or indirectly they are related with the soul this is what in our agams they say so if i do non violence and more or more good activities it means my encryption the encryption of my activities will be in better record or what we say 
oh, he is in good bo books of Maharashtra. He is doing all correct and bad activities. He is not a good person. He is not in good records, something like that. So in good records of whom? That is in good records of Saul or in bad records of Saul. These bad records are also negative karmas. Good records are positive karmas. Hence, what I wish to say that harming, harming any living being, any living being, right from the first lecture which I started, if you remember, by our all ten forces, that is our pancha indriya plus manvachan kai eight, our longevity ayu and our breathing ten. So by all these ten forces, even a small, not even a nano, any which we can think that even by thinking also we do harm or do injury. That is a that is a hinsa, that is violence. Okay. Now, what is the problem? The soul is really a physical thing or it is a metaphysical thing. There is a big dispute on this. On the one hand, we say that yes, this soul exists, and the soul exists in this body. And till the soul remains active in the body, we remain alive. As soon as the soul finishes, I mean the soul goes outside of the body, then the body is told as it is dead body. So let us do one just imagination. That there are four bodies are there. There are four bodies in one <coughs> Uh, courtyard of a hospital, their four bodies are kept. They are laying down. And one body is fully active, but he is laying down and he is whatever we talk, he is listening, he is laughing, he is responding, everything. And we say, and we even we ask doctor, then doctor say, oh, he is perfectly okay. He is a living <clears throat> organism. There is another body which Doctor, even when he sees, when he observes, then he finds there is no nerve system is working, no breathing system is working, no heart is working, no organ is working, and he will say he is a dad. So based on the organs functioning, he takes the decision that the body, that the living person is dead or he is alive. But still, doctors, he do, they don't say that I mean, <clears throat> practically from scientific point of view, that the soul has gone out. So he does not accept about the existence of the soul. There is a third body. It is almost paralyzed body. But his eyes are open. He can see. He cannot speak, but he can give some response through eyes and all that. Doctor will say that he allows with. And he, what he will say, he realizes because his breathing is working and his heart is working. The another fourth, the last body, which is almost no response from his body, because but he is still alive, and that is what we call in the coma. And doctor will say that no, no, he is not dead, but. If you ask a scholar of Jainism, he will say that this coma body or the paralysis body, what we call is a subconsciousness, unconsciousness, or some living sense are working, etc. Similarly, doctor will also say, but he will talk in the terms of consciousness and forgetting that this consciousness which has also not been observed physically, but only via this organ zone. And this consciousness is a part, is, is simply a part only of that soul. And when this soul goes outside, all organs automatically, they stop functioning. So what is that power? What is that soul 
which we are talking that it is so much powerful system, although it is not visible or it is thin membrane or it is only spiritual, it is metaphysical. So we say that the soul, actually, we believe that it is, I mean, split up into small, small part everywhere in the body, any living organism that is known as the soul point. And even every soul point has the four, the powers or capabilities or attributes, which we should say, it, they, are the, they are characteristics of the soul that is known as the perception. We call it a drashti or vision. So vision is a very important characteristic of the soul. Soul has energy, that is very people call power, then the bliss, some kind of a system to feel the pleasant happiness and the <clears throat> sukha or dukha or the misery. The most important you see the soul has is the knowledge power. It's a bank, it's a knowledge bank, jnana. And through that, now depending on the karma, depending on the karma, the, whether extrasensory power is there for the avdhi jnana, man paryavaran jnana and kal keval jnana, that is the omniscience now. So now, why this, if it all are there, then for example, why I am not able to achieve even Kevli Gyan is, that is omniscience is very far, remote thing. Man Paryavaran, very remote. But why I am only limited to Mati Gyan and Shrut Gyan only? Why I am not able to achieve Avdhi Gyan? That answer comes that it means my knowledge bank, my this Gyanavarani thing <coughs> of this my soul is restricted. It is shedded by some other particles, its power is reduced. And that is what reduced by, that is nothing but the karma or the karma shari or by some other <coughs> membrane or by some another energy. Similarly, our energy is stopped or obscured by that. Our vision is obscured. So this obscurance, this, <coughs> I mean, some kind of a screening over this whole soul is in through this karma. And karma is actually the something like a membrane over membrane or the body over body. It is like this. So, in fact, you can say that the main soul, that is the main power bank by with the three, which I told you major important attributes, it is covered by the karman body, that is karma shari, encrypted. And it is encrypted through tejas body, that is, it, you can say, dirt, particles, vargna, atoms, but basically it is charged particles. Tejas, tejas means energy. And they are everywhere, they are everywhere in the universe. Now, what really happens? Whatever you do through the physical body, that is through your man, vachan, and kaya, through your thoughts, through your speech, or physical actions, whatever you do, along with even whatever I told with the, those 10 powers, 10 forces, <clears throat> that is the energy, whatever you do, that energy is distributed or that energy is transmitted into the universe nearby to you or very far away from you, it goes as a waves and that produces, I mean, interaction with the stages, particles. So energy, <clears throat> vibrations take place and those vibrations as per your act, as per your deed, as per your work, as per your karma, as per your yoga, returns back and it is written encrypted on the karman body. And that is that how the karma body or karmic body forms. Now, I, if you remember earlier, maybe some eight, seven, eight lectures back, I had told you also that the stages particles, as I told, you can say even plasma particles, they are charged particles. 
they are high energy particles and these high energy particles always you see sometimes they are accelerated or decelerated depending on the two forces in on the earth electric field and magnetic field so i will not go into detail on today about that i had already explained you earlier about this the vector quantity e cross b and how it actually accelerates <clears throat> whatever you do as a bad work and then it writes down so if you have written uh, this encryption of karmic body is more and more negatively okay negative tasks are there negative only it is i mean uh, uh, karmic body is full means it will shed your that blue thing will shed your white inside the soul and the soul the power cannot come outside so all its powers will be restricted limited to do the better work also on the contrary if you do good work non violence okay then you are actually you are reducing your that blue karmic body <coughs> a uh, sorry uh, that light yellowish body and then you are, you are this whole tejas particles you are trying to reduce everywhere that is not only surrounding to you but away from you also which are related to your energetic body so it is energy to energy relationship so try we have to try we have to make attempt to reduce this karmic body that <clears throat> dark yellowish region above the soul and if as soon as we will try to reduce and it is reduced then our soul power will come outside more and more we will have i mean our vision our energy to do and even we will get more motivation to do better works <clears throat> let i think that is the what the first two things the four powers i told you the first two that is energy one and perception that is just your vision actually that these two together they make your consciousness chetna and chetanyata whatever and that is nothing but what we call as a sentience or as a jiva <clears throat> the other two powers are also there and those two powers we also make use of them <clears throat> soul basically is actually condition by its own body through contraction and expansion it is some kind of contraction rarefaction and that is nothing but expansion and contraction is vibrations and that is the some kind of a phenomena and so sol has this capacity of contraction and expansion aguru lagutva bal or everywhere <coughs> associated with it and that has actually the power for this generating vibrations the oscillations produced in terms of the waves and then the returning wave writes the our karmas in addition it is actually capable of be becoming free from all the karmas so if you this reduce if you reduce whole karma sharir then it can become from the all karmas so what we have to do <clears throat> if i do the good things which let for example with the compassion taking care of the others etc so if i do means my tejas particles the dirt is moving away and away and the energy which is through the compression and rarefaction that expansion etc whatever energy goes it actually takes away the karma and body outside means it is thrown outside known as the procedure which we will discuss sometimes the nirjara also so <clears throat> our our main soul becomes slowly and slowly more and more pure uh, soul means it becomes better and better if it becomes better and better then only we can think of the use of jnana knowledge and we can reach even up to the kevel jnana that is what all the tirthankars and it is not only in a one day or one month time etc many i mean good works we have to do by all the ten forces this soul which i told is also of two types one is the worldly soul that is what we have the human beings have what animals have birds have etc 
then there is a mukta that is a free that is a liberated soul that is all what our tirthankars or those who do good things and their souls is liberated and so now the liberated souls also it is told that uh, generally it need not to take rebirth etc while the sansari that is transmigrating souls what we that is our souls is two types one is trasa that is mobile with movements which has mobility and sthavar that is immobile so please remember the souls also can be mobile and immobile if it is immobile then see it remains over there for years and years say for example the what we talk is earth is a life but it is immobile sthavar trees for example plants air atmosphere hawa fire and all this so they are the all immobile sthavar ji while we people are the <clears throat> mobile people that with mobility now the living beings the whole uh, possesses some external characteristics called pranas okay i told her just few moments back that we have this indriya ayu and our uchchana etc etc so all those make the ten forces etc now problem the birth actually process of living being takes by the three forms three process three kinds only three methods are there one is what we call as a spontaneous generation that is samuchchan vidhi i have already discussed this also earlier <coughs> birth from the uterus garbhajan so various kinds of yonis are there and third that is acquisition that is adaptation kind of a thing okay that uparjana that is the seat to which the soil i mean the i'm sorry soil goes and in which it is born so samurchan garbhaj and uparjan three methods are there. anyway these are the very briefly i wanted to tell already have been described and mara sab i think will give much more detailed thing now <clears throat> only the question comes if the soul is there and then there is a whole philosophy there is a theory that as i told in the beginning whatever action you do that action that is nothing but the karma that is your uh yog your functioning and that is encrypted on your soul in the form of a karma shari now whether there are types of this actions this karmas whether they all are dangerous and as a result what we get so we have to discuss so this is the second aspect the first aspect was the soul and on the soul the covers are there of the karma shari tejas shari and physical body okay so the whole soul is covered in cast in this three other bodies but whatever action as i told you do is written as a karma now what kind of karmas are there so that is although there are lectures now have been started as i understand from maharaj sahab on the doctrine of karma but i will just because my talk is related to the violence and karma so i will uh, briefly describe about this karmas this karmas actually are classified divided into two types first of all the first the set of karmas which we call as a harming the ghatki that is harming karmas ghatki karmas and the other one is the non harming a ghatki karma ghatkis actually now it means whatever you are doing at present presently whatever you are doing and directly affect the soul powers by impeding its perception knowledge energy and also bring about the delusion so what are those ghatki 
karmas. I will not go into the detail, but very briefly I will tell you. The one is darshana varaniya, that is perception. Okay, so perception is the one. Then gyan varaniya, knowledge related, and then antraya, that is obscuring, obstacles creating, and mohaniya, that is the deluding karma. So these four are the ghatki karmas. What do I mean by this ghatki karma that is harming means present. Means whatever I am doing on today, that is in my in this life, what at every moment as a function of time I have been doing, that is the harmful if I am doing against the law of ethics, laws of nature, or I can say whatever I am doing. If it is violent, if it comes under the definition of violence, then I am going to receive in this, in this time only, those results that is harming to me. How I will tell you in a moment. Then there are, as I told, aghatkiya, non-harming, but it means they will not do anything. When I say non-harming. Aghatki, basically it means they are coming with the solids. Now, see, this is very interesting concept in Jainism only. Aghatki karma, it means that says that these karmas are the old file and they are coming with along with the soul when the rebirth takes place. So, now Ghatki, which I told, is the my karmas which I am doing on the present time, aghatki, coming directly at the time of the birth from any vulva, kisi bhi yoni se, kahi se bhi jab janma hota hai, to hi saath mein us saul ke upar itne karm ka sharir to leke aata hai. Now, the magnitude, magnitude, intensity, its uh, effects, that will depend the, that karm sharir how much volume it is there of that karma shari, how much volume of that tejas is there, it depends. And that I will discuss today. That is really part of my talk today. So in this aghatki karma, the main karma is nam, that is body determining the karma, the body, physical body, which is, so it is coming from the past. Ayu, the lifespan, gotra, that is a status determining and Vedniya, that is feeling <coughs> of your producing the karmas, etc. Now this four and four. So total, if you ask how many karmas are there, eight karmas are there. And it is out of eight karmas, how many types, each class, each type of karma, how many has different types so that it, they can be differentiated. They can be categorized under each one. So total, if you take, then 148 subdivisions, subtypes of karmas are there. In the Ghatki karmas, the Dar Jnanavarani karma has five different types, while nine different types in Darsh, Darshan Varaniya and 28 Mohaniya. See, I have shown in the Mohaniya 28 in the red but bold letters and five in Antriya. So now if you see in the Ghatki, Mohaniya is the major, I mean karma, where by and large, whatever the actions we do, by and large, they fall in that matrix because that is the largest subtypes are available. Similarly, if you see the Ghatki and non harmi the 101 karmas are there, while in the Ghatki, total 47 were there. And in this, Life spent only four, while 98, uh, sorry, 93 of Nam, Karm, they are 93 subtypes, while two of Gotra and two of Vedni. It means in Aghatkya, 93 of Nam that were related with the physical body, okay, characteristics, as in the last slide I just told you, and in Ghatki, 28. So one, I would is that one should remain alert with the arm 
karma and this mohaniya karma because they themselves they themselves actually make the large number of subtypes 93 and 8 101 and 20 131 are only those only rest only 17 are left so we have to be very careful and that is the mostly now what we talk in today's modern era in this world science world the mostly they we can correlate also in that i would like to tell here a small brief share my this uh, research work which i have been doing in last 6 months or maybe even little more i have written to more than 50 to 100 people science experts medical doctors our great scholars pandits our great gurus acharyas sadhus etc is there any book or any literature or to the modern science people any research paper which can connect the your activity your karma your doing your deeds which you are doing through man vachan kai whatever whether it has a identification of what kind of karma is written in cryptid on my soul so nobody has replied satisfactorily except two three sadhus sent me some stories and all that but there is no i mean fact research work has been concretely solid work has been done in this regard so that we cannot say firmly that yes if you will do this kind of a wrong karma that is rak karma bad karma means you will be actually uh, occupied with uh, this kind of uh, karma of any sub type of this but i have done little bit work and i will be happy today and in my next talk also little bit that uh, how much uh, actually uh, we can connect with each other and that is the main reason that i always add with the scientific thing well i do not want to go into much detail but this knowledge gyanvarniya karma uh, this basically what it if you are following or your karma sharir has written this thing very seriously means your knowledge power of your soul that attribute of the soul will be obscured by this similarly your <clears throat> karma sharir has predominant predominant perception that darshan varniya karma then it means you are diminishing your power of the vision similarly <clears throat> mohaniya karma means you are delusion that is the power of this whole your uh, soul of uh, visibility work to be done what is right what is wrong how to do the right conduct i mean the to choose between the right and bad whatever that power is there that all will be almost stopped so people you might have seen you yourself might have experienced in your lifetime that sometimes when we do wrong things because we say we don't have experience etc but we are keep on doing wrong things many times and that is because of this <clears throat> mohani karma which is in our already there but this is what i mean by doing in this lifetime not earlier time earlier time means again i would like to say aghati okay and then obstructing the karmas that is the antraya karma so which generally comes many many times we are facing this thing say for example i want to do good work i want to go and give some donations to the uh, this orphan children or want to do something a good gifts to the blind school or something but i will be stopped by one or the other excuses or inside my feeling is not coming so some antra is there so that also but this is in the almost in this my this life span time similarly you can say that if my this gyanvarni karma if it is okay if it is i am not obscured my this gyanvarni karma by this 
bad karma of knowledge based attribute of so my attribute of the soul related to the knowledge is full then i can go from mati gyan shuddh gyan to avdhi gyan and even finally i can achieve up to the keval gyan this is what has been written and we i can even matlab motivate my soul step by step by doing good things and throwing out <coughs> the bad karma similarly the <coughs> i will not go into detail now because the time is uh, very short today and so you can uh, see that in aghat ki uh, i have many things okay i i will not go into the details of the gyana that shuddh gyana mati gyana avdhi gyana man paryavaran keval gyana etc uh, if required sometimes we will discuss in detail i have good knowledge reasonably about this thing only now i would like to <coughs> tell that the period how much longevity of each karma suppose i am obscured or i am <coughs> occupied by one karma let us say darshana varniya karma or gyana varniya karma that is very predominantly now it has stuck on my the car uh, soul that as a karmic body so maximum it will continue t into 10 to the power 225 years while minimum it will be for one mahurat one mahurat i told you last time 48 minutes and similarly almost all the karmas by and large you will see from 2 to 3 and 10 to the power 221 to 225 uh, years so it is a long long time it i means i will it will be very very difficult for several lime in rebirths i have to take then only i will be able to finish this thing. so minimum is ranging between some one mahurat to 12 mahurat or something like that okay so please be careful while doing any action and identify what whatever you are doing is a good or not i would like to go that now how this process takes place i have many many other books related to the i mean <clears throat> interaction between these particles and the, our body and which finally ends in writing the karmas in the form of karmic shari so first thing uh, i will not go into the many other things but what we call as asra that is influx so i have chosen this tatvarth sutra and chapter 6 on and that chapter says that whatever physically we do whether we do by our body by our speech or by our thought that is known as yoga that is action and action is nothing but that itself is a asra that is influx starts so means as i told in the beginning whatever you do that itself is written it is encrypted on your soul that process is demonstrated it is clarified by acharya uma swami ji in his book tatvarsu the next it says that this whatever we do that is through the materialistic i mean i will do say some mobile lifting i will do put over here i will can put the book from here to here i can just shake my hand that all physical thing which i am doing involving the material and that is dravya yog okay but the result whatever i get that is a feeling that is a bhav yog and finally all, <clears throat> all these things that is up uh, whatever you do that is yog or work work is nothing but do you know many of you that nimit nimit is nothing but the cause work which we do or action whatever do is nimit or the basically what we say generally the cause is nimit so yog <clears throat> relative to that cause see four types of our man yog that is by thoughts four we can do through the our speech and seven we can do with our physical body so total 15 different types so you may write down whatever the maximum we can do different things 
they are the only 15 types of things only through the man vachan and kaya <clears throat> however you know that the relation which i am today talking is between the karma with the soul etc and whatever do i do is upadan that is through the thoughts my feelings my experiencing the action which I do that is materialistic, whatever source cause and the cause is by through my physical body, my speech, my thoughts and the results which we call fal, that is the asra, that is the <clears throat> either materialistic or finally I will feel that. Thing. So this is basically the process goes on and the process is going on, going on, and going on with every kind of action throughout the day. We are doing all the 24 hours into seven days and 365 days, whatever. So, whatever the good things now, Acharya Uma Swami says, whatever the virtuous good activities you do, good cause you are doing, that is meritorious and it is known as punya, but whatever the rigged, or wicked activities, bad activities, <clears throat> thoughtful or unthoughtful, knowingly, unknowingly, whatever you do, but they are the demeritous, non-beneficial, they are the seen activities, that is what we call as a papa. So, the whole, I mean the man, any, every living being is actually, his soul is hanging between the two things. Papa and Punya. So Karma Shari basically has both positive energy, that is Punya, negative energy, that is Papa. So within the Punya, whatever you do, I have already told that many, many causes are there. And just like some boat is going, but the, inside the boat, a small hole is there and that water will come inside. So that is some kind of an example how the <clears throat> guy does work etc whatever we say that this kind of a work we are physically are doing we can go for swadhyag this is for punya good things you can have a compassion karuna dikha sakte hain pakshiyo ko dana dalte hain and then by speech you can do swadhyay you do the stuti bhajan etc Man, that is thoughts, you do the good things, thinking for others. Similarly for Pap, all the negative things which are written over here, we are doing that. So <clears throat> finally, uh, what Uma Swami says that there are two kinds of influx, namely that of persons with passions. Passions means kashai. That is Man, Mo, Lov, Lalach, etc. kind of, and which extend transmigration and that extends means expansion, expansion. So more and more those kinds of things are there and that of persons free from passions, that is good, which they are able to prevent, which are <coughs> to get inside those bad karmas. So now you just see on towards me that this is my inside, the soul inside, and this cover is now the whole karma shari. If I'm doing wrong things, etc., if I don't have the passion, compassion, in fact, and I have passion more and more in my whole, all the task works are I'm doing involved in bad activity, it will expand like this. And for those who do good things, it will start to shorten, it will compress. So the, I told in the beginning, compression and the rarefaction, compression and rarefaction, based on what kind of activities we are doing. <clears throat> so the main three important verses which Uma Swami has written, they are very important. They say that the subdivisions of the former, that is the, with the passion, okay, are the five senses 
and the four passions, non-observance of the five woes and 25 activities, etc. what we are doing. So, I mean, the it is some kind of a, let me give you details, but I don't have time to tell you. But with the five Indriyas, I have given name over here. We can do the different activities through this four, our this passion, okay? Krodh, Man, Maya, Love, etc. And then non-following, non-practicing the five, our woes, which are written over here. And what we do, Kriyas, <coughs> that is 25 different actions also I have described over here. It means now this game, please try to understand there is a mathematics here. It is not one to one that, okay, five only here, four here, five. It's a permutation and combinations. Okay. So for everyone, other, all the things will apply. So what Uma Swami has written that influx is basically can be differentiated. And this verse, chapter six and verse number six, I also recommend to all of you, to all of you to kindly read this chapter six and particularly on this six, seven, eight, nine verse number. And that is the main bottleneck. He has said the bottleneck, very important thing. He says that this influx asra is differentiated on the basis of intensity intensity of your thought, of your work, and the fibliness, fibliness, or you can say uh, magnitude, you can say, of your thought, your planning, okay? And then intention or unintention, nature of action. So the sub <coughs> substratum of its uh, peculiar potency, potency means power. Shakti and they all are everything is small, small uh, items which everyone has a now dependence. So now I would like to give you one example. Suppose as on today, I am in Pune in India in one locality and I do some kind of a violent activity with some other person. So whatever kind of the karma band will be there, asra, that influx will be there. But I do the same activity with, of course, some other person in Udaipur. Or if I come to, say, Washington or in New York or in Paris with different, different people, it, so my influx will be completely different depending on whatever the magnitude and intensity I did in Pune and depending on the intensity in Udaipur or in Paris. So this whole influx, so in writing the inscription on the Karma Sharir also depends on differently for each kind of activity which we are doing. And that difference depends on these factors that is intensity, magnitude, location, and the <clears throat> intention or unintention, whether it is what kind of nature is there, and then what is the potency, etc. So this and these factors are real good factors. They also tell the similar kind of thing in the sciences. So for example, now in whenever we say that the cyclone is coming, and it will hit this city, this city, this city. But the impact of the cyclone will not be the same as it was in Kolkata or in Andhra Pradesh or in Maharashtra somewhere or in other places. So why? Because its magnitude has changed. Magnitude has changed depending on its flow of the wind, speed of the wind, etc. So whatever these points have been written, they are the scientific points. So whatever we also decide here, the intensity of any work which is to be done, then we take consider as you might have 
noted down earlier when I was always telling the pressure, temperature, and density, which define the intensity of the work which is being done, etc., or the speed change, <clears throat> temperature that how much warmness is there, etc. So this, according to this verse number six, everything changes. So I will not go now in further detail because a lot of uh, other things which I and <clears throat> the seventh seventh says that now whatever you do is uh, with the say very important whatever you do it is related to the two aspects that is with the G that is the with related to the soul. And the other is related to the Aji, that is Pudgal. Pudgal means mostly we are talking is uh, just or the material which we are taking care or we are taking in the hands or stick or rifle or gun or or we are taking the flowers in our hand, etc. <clears throat> but so it is always related to the G as well as to the Aji, that is living beings as well as non-living beings. Now, as I told that everything is in the... <clears throat> permutation and combination form. So Acharya Shri says that all these kinds of activities, they are <clears throat> related to the saram, samaram, and aram. That is one kind of factor. Man, vachan, kai also. And then the our breath, etc. So this 3 into 3 into 3 into 4, 108 actually different types of are there. It's basically I have written uh, and you can see here I have also classified how this samram, samaram and aram is there, the three types. So there are three types. Each one will go with like this. Then so each one will multiply and then again will multiply and then again will multiply. So it will come 108 types of uh, forms will be there uh, for the influx. So whether now, whatever you are doing, <laughs> the planning, that is what I told, two types, a position, four types, coincidence, two types, and the nature, three types. So you all combine all these things. And this is the ninth verse. And please read meaning of this. If anybody has any question related to this influx verses of in the Tattvar Sutra in chapter six, and uh, <clears throat> right from one to the last up to 40, uh, you can ask me in greater detail. Now, I, what I want to do is uh, <clears throat> simply, I will take now the science part. I will take only another. Marasab, uh, can I take five minutes to say science word? Hello, I, I'm yeah. audible. Yes, you can, you can say, sir. You have okay. time, you have time, five minutes. Now I told you, everybody in the very beginning, very important aspect, and that was the harming karmas ghatki. And another one is non-harming aghatki karmas. Now I was trying to search actually since last <laughs> several years, if I can identify what kind of activity that's karmas, can be related to the our body and particularly in that what is this ghatki karma and adghatki karma directly when the birth takes place i found very interesting and i am happy to share with all of you and this has been endorsed by many many doctors and medical researchers also i am very happy that i am able to <clears throat> show you all these things now what they say uh, the medical science says that at the time of the birth, at the time of the birth, what we call as a aghatkiya karma, medical science does not say any, but medical science they say that there are some concepts, there are already some kind of infections, or you can say viruses, or you can say some kind of a bad cells or in your hormone already exist with every child, every birth of a bird, animal, every human being everywhere. Okay, I have listed over here. Now this, now only magnitude, intensity, 
depends on the your previous high that is the now this is the rebirth time so whatever the karma sharir has come up accordingly this magnitude and intensity and the form will be slightly different but they are always already there in the little or in the big form what is that say so first of all susceptibility that is the <clears throat> susceptibility to the diseases you already have immunity in your, your body and resistance against the viruses or against the disease so some susceptibility is always every body every birth time the body i mean the body comes with this next every body comes with the exposure <clears throat> infectivity transmission means say some people get exposed we say even the when they become younger oh he gets exposed with the wind he gets exposed with the uh, this disease and then he himself gets infected and then he transmits transmits that disease to others also very fast because his body is like that but if your karmas aghatiya karma are will very little less means your karm body is much better than you will i mean you will be born with the good susceptibility your immunity will be better you, you can be less exposure your infectivity will be poor etc similarly incubation you see the child is a weak during the this in the vulva garbhashay mein kamzor tha latency that is stability so all these things so unmatured child takes you see takes the birth so all these <clears throat> things are also all in their pathogenic to usko rog jo janm se kaisa hota hai so that is also all the different kinds of pathogenesis the cells are there all kinds of and this is all written i mean in the dna very well it, it is also endorsed by the doctors and medical research people i have research papers on this so that's why i am showing similarly well i will not take time so <clears throat> all sub clinical and uh, in apparent infection which are not visible okay not visible but as a function of time then whatever ghatkiya karm he will do a ghatkiya karm will come up so there is a connection there is a connection between ghatkiya and aghatkiya aghatkiya are not harming but when you do some ghatkiya strongly then because of the already presence they will come up and they will the uh, i mean become strong enough so all these kinds of uh, things even the good things are also available in the body readily available for curing for a relapse also even the cl clinical spectrum when you see then all the things and this is what the not one research paper not one doctor many many people now say that yes rajmal they told that these are already existing even the list is little larger also the best spectrum of that of existence uh, in the form of the cells in the form of the dna proteins etc amino acid these signatures are there and these are the signatures which i mean at the available at the time of the rebirth <coughs> and so it means they have come according to the aghat ki karm this is what my interpretation it is not written in any book but this is what the things it science people says and we can connect this thing the simply when we can further connect that what effects of violence on health i just would like to give example the violence has effect to both one who does violence and one who is the victim and both way see why otherwise the person who does violence he should not but he is also affected after doing that in the blood pressure and many other things so biological actually effects of the violence have become now increasingly better and understood and they include the effects on the brain this is very important so brain disorder actually on both one who is victimized and one who does the violence also and the neuro <clears throat> uh, neuro uh, yeah endocrine system actually goes for the failure then immunity response 
many other things also are there. Uh, different research papers I have just collected. And as a function of the child abuse, if you, somebody does, then what kind of a karm will be there and how he will be affected, depending on the age and sex of the victim, as well as the person who is doing violence. People can be the victims of multiple forms of violence and the health effects can be cumulative, one above other, they are adding. Now, this, this is the sentence, is nothing but the, what we, I have been talking that if you are doing bad, means your negative karmas are keep on becoming cumulative, adding and adding and adding, okay? So similar kind of thing, we, but a clear cut, I mean, which I have was showing earlier in my many talks about the plots and drafts, uh, still a lot of research work has to be done, but we are very close and I hope we will be successful in showing that how these things are related. Effects of violence on individual, every individual. Suppose I'm just slapping someone or I'm fighting with my wife or somebody is firing his son or the daughter, etc. Then what things happen? And if it is, what is the magnitude of that? So magnitude maybe in the terms of aggressiveness, etc. And that aggressiveness can be of uh, many, many types say acts, maybe physical violence. It can be shouting on someone. It will be a, some kind of criticizing, giving wrong information or humor spreading, slashing of the co-workers, slapping also to the co-workers else, et cetera. And many, this kind of, uh, we are using sometimes instrumental aggression and uh, this aggression can be of uh, many, many times. It can be the relational aggression hostile also, maybe verbal aggression, et cetera, physical aggression. But finally, what I wish to say, the evid in the form of the evidence that whatever violence we do against any life, any life means microbes. I had shown you, if you remember, when I was talking that uh, <clears throat> my one lecture related to the non-violence and attack on the microbes. So all microbes finally get unite, got united and they took the revenge in the form of the coronavirus. You can see the people who are eating the meat per capita per year on the x-axis and the death through the, I mean, due to the coronavirus on the y-axis, you can see that the death toll is keep on increasing towards those countries where the meat is eaten larger and larger and larger. Not one time to 10 times, but rather 100 times the death toll increased. And this paper was welcomed by many. I would like to, at the end, say how the good things also give result. And for that, I would like to give example. Uh, just I will take five minutes. On one time, I was hearing, say, Mahapragya. I went, at that time, I had come only from Udaipur to Ahmedabad. And on one TV, when I was watching, his pravachan was uh, on. And he told very important thing. I will take only two to three minutes only to tell that story. He told that this, uh, if you are doing good things, means meditation part, let us consider. He told that upvas, why we keep fasting? That was a big question. And he told one very good example. He told, jab hum apne ghar mein koi mehman aata hai, I will speak in Hindi, whatever he told. Or hum achche achche mishthan ghar mein banate hain aur khilate hain. Jo guest aata hai, wo sochta hai, is ghar mein to bahut achche achche khane milte hain. Chalo, mein ek din aur ruk leta hain. Dusre din bhi achche swadisht bhojan diya, to wo phir ek din aur ruk gaya. Isi tarah se, agar hum apne body ke andar bhi Roach khana khayenge, swadisht bhojan denge, so all those, that, whatever the list I had shown, infecting virus jo hai, wo humare ghar mein hi ek apna makan bana lenge, wo phir jane ka naam nahi hai. Aur uska jane ka naam lene ke liye, hum agar upwaas karenge, to wo jo viruses hai, unko jab khana nahi milega, to wo apne aap hi jo mal ke through nikal jayenge, bahut badi baat unho ne us sami batai thi, yaya mujhe, याद है और मैंने अभी रिसेंटली एक लेक्चर में आपको बताया था कि उपवास और भी करना चाहिए आ, इसके पीछे दो एनर्जी जो है वो रिड्यूस हो जाती हैं और दूसरा जितने 
जो बीमारियां बड़ी बड़ी हैं जैसे कैंसर है डायबिटीज है उसके जो सेल्स खराब हो गए हैं वायरस हैं वो भी समाप्त हो जाते हैं तो दैट और जब वो हो जाएंगे इट मीन्स आप अपने अंदर से जो अघातकीय वाली जो चीजें हैं वो भी आप हटा रहे हैं और आप विचारों से अच्छे मेडिटेशन कर रहे हैं पूजा कर रहे हैं मंदिर जा रहे हैं ये काम कर रहे हैं तो आपका जो है घात की जो कर्म है हार्मिंग वाला है वो भी अच्छा कर रहे हैं मीन्स इन टोटो यू आर एक्चुअली रिड्यूसिंग योर कर्म शरीर एंड यू आर मूविंग ए हेड टूवर्ड्स द बेटर एंड बेटर फॉर द लिबरेशन ऑफ योर सॉल थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस अगेन माई दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आई सिंसियरली एक्सप्रेस माई रेस्पेक्ट एंड रिगार्ड्स टू बंदामी महाराज सर आपके चरणों में और योर कॉपरेशन आई थिंक आई हैव फिनिश्ड ऑन टाइम और मे बी फाइव मिनट्स आई कैन टेक क्वेश्चन नो 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 सो यू हैव फिनिश्ड इन योर टाइम सो आई एम वेरी मच थैंकफुल फॉर दिस वंडरफुल टॉक इट इज ऑन सोल एंड कर्म एंड वी हैव सीन दैट प्रोफेसर राजमल जैन हैज एक्सप्लेन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सोल एंड कर्म इन अ वेरी साइंटिफिक वे and in a very new uh, way so that is very fast that was very fascinating i would uh, request all the participants if they have some questions they can ask you can stop sharing the presentation so that uh, uh, you can yes. see all uh, the uh, participants can you see me uh, i i am audible yes. Now? yes 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 okay Yes, if there is any two three questions, or as per your convenience, yes. I can take questions. Yes. Yeah, so Hansa Shah, she will ask some question. Oh yes, welcome. Unmute, unmute. <clears throat> Namaskar, uh, Vandami, Samni ah. ji, and Namaskar, Professor ji. My question is: Ghat ki and aghat ki is the. Is the gati and aghati karma? I am little confused. I thought that gati is the something that we can modify, and aghati means we have to sahan karna hi padega. It will not go by itself. That it, it cannot be reduced. You have to suffer the consequences rather than uh, uh, something is a hurting or non-hurting. I am little confused about the definition of gati and aghati karma. and secondly i also want to know about where the um, the relationship of a karma particle and the heart which is the shortest because other things we have learnt and read in the book but the ab jo atma ke or the electrical electromagnetic wo jo thoda sa concept hai we have not seen or at least i have not seen it anywhere so i would like to understand that Uh, to make myself a little bit more clear please okay see i told uh, first thing is about the soul mm -hmm. okay and that okay. is the most important uh, aspect of the life irrespective to whether it is one sense or five sense yes number one and the soul has the four major attributes and among those major attributes that is perception knowledge etc all those four so whether those four will work fully fully or slightly with the low or completely not at all or something like that magnitude how it will differ that will be defined by the karma shari that will be the by the karma shari so what is the volume volume of your karm sharir and volume and intensity of your karm sharir magnitude of that that actually defines the your functionality okay say in i in a classroom there are 40 students all 40 students are not same intelligent okay but the soul is pure absolutely pure and it exists in all the 40 students but soul is obscured differently by different karma shari in all those 40 students so now this how much and why and what those questions are given by this ghati or ghatki whatever that hindi yeah. term is depend on you 
some books will write ghatki some will ghatti mm -hmm. harming non harming but mm -hmm. classified that aghati means those it is general definition it is in our agam itself some books okay Ag, that aghati they are already coming along with the sol along with the sol at the time of the rebirth please remember this is very important point and ghati you are doing after re your birth at a, as a function of your longevity that's ayu and thoughts and man vachan kai all that then so ghati and aghati now you don't say that ghati will affect and aghati will not affect no both affect <clears throat> and i specifically told that naam and mohani if you remember because that that large number of subtypes are in these two only yeah okay. now but whatever now very simple i mean answer i am giving in short to you that whatever you are doing today that is ghati you are doing something let us say ghati very bad thing but that bad thing how it much it will be worse after deposition that will also be dependent on how much aghati was already there no okay okay no. aghati yes. if aghati is at very low level and if you do even very intense but it is not going to be very serious but aghati aghati was very high and you have done something wrong means you will explode that is point number that is an answer to your first question second you told about so if you read please you, you as you say that you have read but did have you read about varganas various kinds of particles in the our universe lokakash so you will find tejas vargana is there yes ek indri sharir vargana okay tejas vargana karma vargana etc so tejas is basically a source a mechanism mechanism of interaction with the karmas that's whatever you do actions you are doing and who will be vibrated that is the electric field has to be vibrated that is original not i mean artificial what human made electric field and magnetic field the nature okay and that place uh, i think uh, if you wish a little bit uh, maybe because the next talk will be the my last talk but i have to cover in that karma band and uh, okay so but but i i think uh, i will explain sometime yeah, i know this whole process actually i have one talk at moksha praptim at moksha prap moksha aise hota hai moksha aise hota hai that is uh, physics actually okay. is involved in that and mathematics is involved uh, you are you a student of science sometime did you read some science earlier yes i did it was long okay. time ago but yes i had some uh, some knowledge of science yes but uh, it was a long old time but this is an all under new concept and very uh, very this very correct you know detailed understanding when we were students we did not pay that much attention but now i think in uh, in view of this jainism this is totally a new understanding main aapko ek chhota sa cheez batata hu महाराज साहब दो मिनट है अपने पास दो मिनट यस यू कैन टेक जस्ट टू मिनट्स एंड हंसा जी ऐसे देखिए ये एक प्लेटफॉर्म है ओके मैं कर्म शरीर जो है लेकिन उसको ऐसे काट करके मेलन सीट जो होता है इसको ऐसे कर देता हूँ थोड़ी देर के लिए और ये लेफ्ट साइड मेरा पॉजिटिव है इधर नेगेटिव है कर्मा ठीक है और बीच में मेरी आत्मा है इधर लेकिन उसके चारों तरफ क्या है ये कर्म शरीर है मैथमेटिकली थोड़े विचार करिए और ये आत्मा जो है वो अंदर है लेकिन छोटी दबी हुई है क्योंकि क्योंकि ये जो कर्मा है वो ऊंचे ऊंचे हैं वो पहाड़ों की तरह ऊंचे और वो बीच में ऐसे छोटा सा है अच्छा। अगर मैं इनको हटा देता हूँ तो वो आत्मा बाहर आ ज्यादा ऊपर एक्सटेंड होके ऊपर आए ओके मैथमेटिक्स सेज दैट अगर ये दोनों चीजें नहीं हो जीरो हो जाए दोनों चीजें जीरो हो जाए yes. तो बीच की जो चीज है 
और मैं अगर वेलोसिटी दू और यानी ये जो चीजें ऑब्सक्योर कर रहे रोक रही है और उसको वेलोसिटी मिल जाए किसको जो आत्मा है बीच में तो ये मैथमेटिक्स खुद ही कहती है कि उसको परपेंडिकुलरली यानी ऐसे ऐसे परपेंडिकुलरली ऐसे ऊपर ही जाना पड़ेगा वो इधर इधर नहीं जा सकता नहीं जा सकती दिस इज द फंडामेंटल मैथमेटिक्स लॉ और उसको हम बोलते हैं डायनेमिक डेल्टा फंक्शन बोलते हैं डेल्टा फंक्शन मीन द वन विच गोज परपेंडिक तो आपने पढ़ा होगा हमारे जैन धर्म में यही लिखा हुआ भी है ठीक है मैंने वहीं से निकाला है कि आत्मा जब भी इस तरह से मोक्ष में जाती है तो लंबवत स्ट्रेट ट्रस नाडी से ऐसे ऊपर चली जाती है और दो यूनिट टाइम यूनिट इक्कीस हमें बोलते हैं दो यूनिट टाइम में तो उसकी कभी आपको चाहिए तो स्पीड वगैरह क्या होती है क्या आत्म प्रदेश है आई हैव कैलकुलेटेड ऑल्सो बेसिकली अथमोक्ष प्राप्ति में होता है तो ये सब खत्म करना पड़ता है केवल ज्ञान तक से भी नहीं चलता देखिए ग्यारहवें बारहवें और तेरहवें तक में आपके घातकीय घातकी के बीच में इधर इधर पड़े और वो चौदवे गुण स्थान है उसके अंदर तो मतलब जो केवल ज्ञान तो पहले भी हो सकता लेकिन फिर ये जो कर्म वाला जो चीज है दैट इज इन दिन स्टेप यू हैव टू कम्प्लीटली डिस्ट्रॉय 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 शब्द काम में ले रहा हूँ वर्ल्ड मीन्स नाश कर देना नथिंग शुड बी लेफ्ट ओवर देन ओनली योर दिस थिंग सॉल कैन गो अप बाय डायनेमिक द डेल्टा फंक्शन जीरो ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन यस फास्ट हाँ, आप इतनी इतनी ज्यादा गहरी मैथमेटिक्स में मैं आपको नहीं ले जाऊंगा कि मैं यहाँ फंक्शन लिख के बताऊं कि डेल्टा फंक्शन की फॉर्म क्या होती है एक्सपोनेंशियल कैसा होता है लेकिन आप इतना ध्यान रख सकते हैं कि मैथमेटिक्स भी यही कहती है कि ये का ऐसे ही होना चाहिए और ऐसा ही होता है और हमारे जैन धर्म में भी यही लिखा है क्योंकि वो प्योर जो चीज है सॉल इज प्योर अब इम्प्योर चीज तो निकल गई नष्ट हो गया है ओके जय जी ने थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू थैंक यू पार्टिसिपेंट्स फॉर अटेंडिंग महाराज साहब महाराज साहब आपसे माफी चाहता हूं क्षमा चाहता हूं मैंने आपका टाइम नहीं नो 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 डोंट एंड डोंट सो मी सो वी आर वेरी मच थैंकफुल टू प्रोफेसर राजमल जैन इंस्टेड ऑफ लेसन नंबर ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेंट्स एंड ही इज सो आउट ऑफ स्टैंडिंग साइंटिस्ट बट ही इज नॉट मिसिंग एनी लेक्चर व्हिच इज ऑलरेडी सेट इन द कोर्स so i am very much thankful yes. and the lecture yes. will be shared to all the participants who are missing to, uh, today and the last lecture would be on uh, especially on 20th so i uh, know that all will uh, participate uh, in and at the same time this time number, only input number yes yes okay so thank you very much because i have class and just after 2 minutes i have to start this class thank you okay thank, thank, you. thank you very much thank you thank you, thank you.